Hi, my name is Ashley Will, and this summer I worked in Hillcrest Hospital's operating room. It's my third year in the program, and I'll be a sophomore at the University of Akron. And this year, the title of my project was Comparison Between Compliance and Knowledge of Handwashing in the Hospital Environment. A little bit of background. Hospital-acquired infections, or HAIs, are defined as infections not present at the time of admission to the healthcare setting, meaning that you get this while you're in the hospital. Hand hygiene, or HH, has been demonstrated to be the most effective method of decreasing the incidence of these infections. Our problem statement was that despite the high levels of knowledge regarding the importance of hand hygiene, healthcare workers have demonstrated low levels of compliance. More information is needed regarding the relationship of knowledge, organizational factors, and hand hygiene behaviors. Methodology. Subjects are healthcare workers involved with the patients in pre- and post-operative units, or PERIOP. The data obtained from a questionnaire and from the World Health Organization and by direct observation were used. 30 surveys were administered and 513 observations were recorded. The data was analyzed for two separate research questions using descriptive statistics such as mean, frequencies, and percentages. These are my two research questions. The first one, among perioperative clinical staff, what are the perceptions regarding hand hygiene in patient care? The second one, among perioperative clinical staff, what is the compliance with CDC hand hygiene practices? So the first one is measuring what the staff thinks they know, and the second one is measuring what I actually observed. The results for research question one, 13 of the 30 surveys distributed to the periop surgery staff were returned, meaning there was a 43.3% response rate. 77% received formal training in hand hygiene in the last three years, and 84.6% say they routinely use an alcohol-based hand rub. Respondents rated hand hygiene as a highly effective in preventing HAIs and highly important in their institution. Respondents' beliefs about how others perceived hand hygiene importance are shown below. So this means that the head of department shows an average of 5.1 importance of washing hands, colleagues show an average of 4.8, and patients show the least at an average of 4.5 of importance. The respondents rated the effectiveness of measures aimed at improving hand hygiene practices, with feedback receiving the lowest score, the mean was three, and manager support the highest. So this means that the staff at the perioperative unit thinks that these things would help them most to wash their hands. On average, the percentage of situations requiring hand hygiene where the respondents believe they actually performed hand hygiene is 88.6%. So my results to research question two. The observations determined whether or not healthcare workers hand washed, hand alcohol rubbed, or missed hand hygiene in the following circumstances. Before the patient, before patient aseptic procedures such as IVs, after body fluids, after patient, and after patient surroundings. So if they touched a clipboard or um, a piece of electronics that was touching the patient. A limitation that I had was that for the aseptic procedures, the curtains were closed for patient privacy, hindering the observation of hand hygiene. The following chart represents the percent of observations that recorded hand hygiene compliance in each circumstance. The target is 100% compliance. Overall, 16.4% compliance rate of hand hygiene observations was recorded, compared to the 88.6% that the staff said that they were washing their hands. And out of that compliance, 85.5% of observations included a hand wash and 14.5% were the use of an alcohol-based hand rub. Conclusions. Another limitation was that I was not, not, not possible to correlate the beliefs in research question one with the behavior of research question two due to the different samples. However, all the data was collected from the perioperative unit. Higher belief of compliance than of actual compliance when the two were compared. Overall, hand hygiene performance was poor among the perioperative unit. Healthcare staff was notified of the observational study, but a Hawthorne effect did not occur, meaning they did not change the way that they usually wash their hands, or didn't. Compliance to wash or alcohol rub hands was greatest after staff came into contact with body fluids. A recommendation is to analyze the data from a larger sample of observations. 
to allow the correlation of data, ensure that the data sets involve the same sample. To increase the number of surveys with the intent to increase the return rate to more accurately determine the knowledge of healthcare employees, determine through alternate studies what the causes of uniform low compliance are, perform an intervention study to test what form of reminders, if any, help the healthcare workers to execute good hand hygiene, and to create a comparison study on outpatients versus inpatients to help determine the possible sources of infection. And I'd like to give a special thank you to my mentor, Amy Wonderly, my co-mentor, Cheryl Masterson, Debbie Sparks, Jeannie O'Toole, and Sandra Seedlecki. I'd also like to thank the OR staff for all the great opportunities they offered me this summer and the Office of Civic Education Initiatives for giving me this great opportunity. Thank you.